Hey friends, I'm so excited about this project. I have long admired the um, old world European looking stockings and it just occurred to me the other day, well, why could I not make some out of drop cloth? So here we go. And I also have uh, a couple, three sets actually of the silicone clear stamps one is I, two are IOD, and one is a brand that I can't remember, but I will try to link where I found those, where I got those. And this was one of the most satisfying projects, and it was a big project because I did a stocking for every single member of my family. Now, trace a stocking to get your pattern. And make it a little taller so you can fold it down or don't you could just make it plain at the top and make the foot slimmer now my my foot turned out really skinny but that's okay because it is a whole different look you can get drop cloths at Harbor Freight at Lowe's probably Walmart I don't even know but uh, I did wash and dry my drop cloth so that it would be a little softer and I just experimented with a few methods of cutting out and I can't find my very expensive silver scissors um, that are like 30 something dollars a pair. I hid them so that nobody else would use them and now I can't find them and that's just crazy. All right, do you see I trimmed off the hemmed edge of the drop cloth? And that, that's what I'll be using for the little hanging hooks, the loops. And I did not bother with uh, making a, a finished edge. I just trimmed it close to that hem and frayed it off because that is also part of the charm is that you're going to have some strings and some irregularities and that's just fine. Okay. Put one all together just lying down so that i could see what it would look like and obviously i can't wait to get all of these done before i start stamping so i wanted to stamp one and i knew the crockery stamps from iod that's iron orchid designs you can get it straight from their website or there's lots of sellers at this point the website might be out of the crockery stamps but they actually do still have um, individual mm, sellers like boutiques or channels or different kinds of suppliers that you can find. But these, <laughs> you know, obviously Etsy, eBay, those are also places that you can find the IOD crockery stamps. But I think. I have noticed there's a, a couple other companies now who are making some crockery stamps, and that's okay. It doesn't matter what brand you use, really. I think most of them are really similar in the way that they perform. You'll notice I'm using a clear acrylic block, which I bought a set of those blocks from Amazon, and uh, it makes it so much easier to see and to press it down uniformly with the same pressure across the entire stamp. Uh, this first experimental stocking that I'm doing, I, I somehow was in, I was believing that if I didn't put as much ink on the stamp, it would make it look a little more faded, which it did, but it was too faded. So I thought, well, that'll never do. It's, um, and you can't, I, maybe you can, I can't line up a stamp and put it down again even with the clear block that you can see through I just can never line it up correctly so I just added some other stamps onto that first one and I let some of them just be partially on and off and that was interesting but most of these are just going to have a single stamp on them oh you can see at this point that I've cut out the other stack and let me tell y'all what I did. My, my family is growing so fast that when I counted up how many people, including babies, that we have, I came up with 14. And I was like, okay, 14. And 
<laughs> then, after I had gotten all 14 of them made, I realized, oh, we have 16. <laughs> so I had to go back and make two more, which, you know, is fine. It doesn't take very long. This is a rather simple process. Now, I did opt to do my stamping before sewing because it needs to be very good and flat when you're putting your stamp on it the, I knew that the, the side seams would lump lump the thing up a little so I, I wanted to make sure that I had a nice flat surface to do my stamping onto okay now you can see this one I, I layered up more than one stamp onto that stocking so I'd have a variety of looks I think the numbers are really pretty I don't have a set of numbers that's maybe the next thing that uh Santa Claus or the birthday the birthday wizard <laughs> I don't even believe in wizards uh, the birthday fairy I don't know what I believe in uh, Ben Kane <laughs> maybe that's what he can get me but he'll have to be given a very specific link to what I want and uh, sometimes I just break down and give him the link to whatever it is that I want and I say if you would like to give me something I would love this is something I would love <laughs> and so you know it, it helps him and it helps me and I don't end up with something that's not my favorite I mean you know I'm not trying to be ungrateful I'm grateful for whatever anybody gives me but really it you know I've we've been married a lot of years we're coming up on 35 years and in my experience uh, he gives me things that he thinks I would love and I might like them just fine but then I could when I'm when I'm opening it or in the past when I was opening it I was thinking um, yeah there's at least 10 things that I would have loved to have had and uh, I'm stupid for not having <laughs> for not having suggested this to him already on my own unprompted so you know you live and learn I've told Ben before that uh, he gets on my nerves sometimes, but I don't want to have to go through the retraining process with any other human. So, <laughs> so that's some security for him. Now here is a close-up of the first 14. And I love uh, the Paris set is the one that looks a little more feminine. And I think they're so cute. That's the one that ended up getting a uh, variety stamped on just because that first crockery stamp didn't turn out too distinct. Oh, these are so cute. So cute. The two that I ended up doing later, I did use my animal stamps. They're rather big, so not all of my animals would have fit on this stocking, but I did do a rooster and a sheep they fit they fit well enough now here's me trying to film a little clip of me sewing and uh sorry if you're getting drunk watching but <laughs> this is me sewing with my left hand and filming with my right hand because who has time to <laughs> sorry who has time to bring the uh, tripod and set it up for just a very quick little quick little thing I do love this sewing machine I've uh, been bought it for me and I told him I said I can't believe because we were in there looking I was looking at one that cost about half this much and um, so I walked over to look at some fabric in this same shop and he um, behind my back without my knowledge he got one that was twice as expensive and i have loved it but i would never have bought it for myself i just wouldn't have done it okay here is me trying to steam i didn't really want to iron these super flat but they did have some gnarly wrinkles and where i had turned them inside out around the heel and the toe looked a little rough so i wanted to smooth that out to where it didn't look like it was you know not not completely formed properly because you know if you don't 
if you don't smooth it out. And I did not go to the trouble to clip all the curves. If you're a seamstress, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you sew, not you don't have to be a seamstress. But <laughs> the problem was that uh, this coarsely woven drop cloth, I thought it would make the drop cloth weaker. And I didn't mind if it was a little more rustic looking or not. The other reason why I'm using my steamer is because I have three irons in my house and guess how many irons I don't know where are. Three. What's wrong with me? Um, I, I, I've looked <laughs> in all the places and you know I wear soft clothing most of the time so I don't need an iron that often <laughs> and um, they're missing. They're just missing. Okay here I am trying to uh, arrange onto the two poles that did have my fall gold mustard colored uh, those curtains hanging up kind of overlapping my my louver doors hey now, Ella you cannot get up there she wanted to so badly so here I am arranging the variety of sizes and different heights and different ones and I'm just going to put my wooden dowels through those loops that's my um lularoe long sweater that i got at a thrift store for five dollars and i wear it all the time <laughs> i wear it all the time how cute is this now this at this point there's still just seven there's still just seven on each one 14 total oh gosh i'm sure this is not look at me stepping on the ends of my sweater uh, I could have cut all that out, but what fun is that? Um, Y'all need to be watching with uh, terrified anxiety. <laughs> Worried that I'm going to fall, but I don't. I don't fall. I still keep thinking I'm going to do something different with my arrangement above the couch. Um, because I, I just... I'm just stubbornly not going up to my attic and bringing down all... I've probably got... 10 tubs and boxes and bags of Christmas decor <laughs> that looked like I fell hard but I didn't I just kind of plopped okay so oh, I wanted to point out that I had that cute little Santa sweater uh, it's not a sweater it's a t-shirt and it was ordered from Amazon okay now here we go I'm gonna thread those loops and I did make sure that the loops were long enough to and generous enough to where they would hang off that thick dowel and you know the dowel is just on the wall just resting on big framing nails um i thought i might go back and put some actual curtain rod holders or something but turns out when you put curtains or <laughs> i could be placing my foot so i don't step on something crazy all right so now i'm going up here putting them on this side I did switch out the little pompous grass thing. I have one of my little lighted birch trees sitting on that table. And it's a mystery. It just turns on and off at will. It doesn't have a timer. I don't know. I've checked. It doesn't look like it's shortened out or anything. It just comes on and off at will. But you'll see that later in some of the other photos. I love that, um, that painting of Jesus. I love Jesus. The sweet, innocent face. It just, it makes me want to cry, really. <laughs> I am not a graceful get-her-downer. Okay, now, at this point, I have made all the full total 16. And you can see that I have printed out some little vintage-looking tags. Just printed them out onto cardstock so that it'd be a little heavier. And just used the cotton twine string and every one of us even olivia's baby that's due in may late april early may um isaac is gonna have a stocking and well because i've already got some stuff for him you know so i just think this is so precious and i, I did not arrange them according to family groups i arranged them according to size and shape and design so Okay, there's there's the little tree. Looks a little a little bent there. Maybe I'll go back and fix that up. Oh, look, you can see the luggage on the couch. That's from 
my guys coming in from Wisconsin. They went to the Green Bay Packers game and had a fabulous time. Thank you for watching. I love being able to share with all of you these fun projects. And I hope that everyone is having a beautiful Christmas season. And for me, um, I'm trying to take it a little slower. Not always easy, but I'm trying. <laughs>